Everyone, Najee here from NajeeShot.com again. So today I want to share with you the number one rule to become richer is that the rule that is that money is a game. I'm going to say it one more time. The rule is that money is a game. One more time. The rule is that money is a game. And the reason why I repeated that three times is that <coughs> as soon as you understand that money is a game, it's a but a game, you understand and under note that, that means that you can get better at it, no matter what stage you are in, at the beginner stage, intermediate stage, or really advanced stage, right? So, with like all games, there are certain set rules. The biggest rule that I'm saying right now is that money is a game. And I don't know about you, but I've played computer games like, you know, Diablo, Dota, you know, World of Warcraft, Warcraft, uh, Sonic, Zelda, why are they? I play so many games. I can't even remember. Mario Brothers. You know, I spent lots of time playing Batman. So, and we play so much games, and then you learn to push the boundaries of the rules within the games, right? To enjoy your experience of the game play. So, in this game of money, right? There's only have three simple rules. Rule number one is about growth. Okay. You can see money as a doubles game, which means that if I invest a thousand dollars today, when can I double it? Can I double it in one year, two years, five years, ten years, right? And the quicker you can double your money, that's one of the game, right? Um, the second gro uh, growth factor, growth rule is that um, focus on the cash flow. Cash flow means that whatever stuff you buy be it properties, dividend stocks, whatever it is, businesses, right? They need to be profitable and put money in your pocket in terms of um, net profit, dividends, okay? Or rental income. This needs to be a consistent basis. It means that every dollar you set to invest needs to double and or put money in your pocket. And the rule number three of growth is compound. Okay, many of the time the, the doubles game work, the cash flow game work with time. The longer you have, the more the magic of compounding happens. So, like you know, Warren Buffett, most of his wealth happens when he's 65. And I think what 90% of his wealth or 95% of his wealth magically appeared with 95. The reason because of this, the reason for this is because of that um, magic of compounding happens usually over a period of time. Let's say, for example, you know, if you take a dollar today and you double every day for 31 days, 31 days, a dollar times two and times two every single day. So that means the day one is $1, day two is $2, day three is $4, day four is $8. Do you know how much you'll get by day 31, which is the end of a common month? A dollar a day times a dollar times two every single day for 31 days, you get $1 billion after the 31 days. That is the magic of compounding, of a double scale compounding, right? So understand the game. It's a growth game. It's a double game. It's a cash flow game. And it's a compound game. So these are the three key factors of growth for money. Number two, you need cash to play the game. You got no cash, you have a game, right? So you got to learn how to make more money. This could be in your career, okay? This could be starting a business that you can earn more money. You, this could you, this could be you having to learn the sales job, sales skills to learn uh, unlimited commissions. Be it as an insurance agent, as a real, real estate agent, a realtor, or selling whatever solutions, right? So you got to learn to make more money. The, all the money you have that you earn and you save is to play the growth game of money, which is to double your money or to build more or acquire more assets that put more money in your pocket and then compound over time. Rule number two again, don't buy stupid shit, don't lose money. Okay, um, I'm not as someone who will tell you don't simply spend. I'm not a Scrooge, okay? I really enjoy myself. Uh, just I don't have much stuff that I find in, that I enjoy, right? Because I'm a super guy. So, but 
what I'm poking at is that if you are buying stuff to impress somebody, and if you don't buy the stuff that you don't like the stuff that you buy, you don't like the person that you're trying to impress, that's a fucked up decision, man. You know, I, I know people who buy cars that they don't really like, that they can't afford to invest to impress somebody that they don't care about. And then in the end, they have to pay the bank and sell the car. That's a dumb move, right? Because it's setting you back. Okay, number three, this game of becoming richer requires patience. It requires patience to learn the rules. It requires patience to apply to the rules. It requires patience to really wait for your money to grow by doubling or getting your cash flow or compounding. It takes a lot of freaking patience. But most good things come with patience. And that's the same reason that I apply. This is the same rules that I apply to my business, to my investments, to my personal life. Um, I won't have patience for things that this makes sense. That doesn't make me in an area where I'm happier. You know? So, but in a rule, game of money, you really need patience. Remember, to grow your money, it's a doubles game, it's a cash flow game, it's a compound game. To play the game of money, you need cash. To have cash, you have to either learn to make more, okay, save more, and don't buy stupid shit. Don't waste money. Number three, it's a game of patience as well. It takes time for a compound magic to work. It takes time for your money to double, to triple, to become a tan bagger, you know, but it's an exciting time. So that's all I have for you today. The number one rule to becoming richer is that to understand that money is a game. And because it is a game, you can get better at it. That's all I have for you today. Take care, earn more, and have fun. Take care, guys.